there everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And today, our topic for grade 7 science after classification of matter is all about solution, preparation, and separation process. But first, let us define what is a solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture mainly composed of solute and solvent. Solute, one that being dissolved, and solvent, the one that dissolves. Water is known as the universal solvent and also acid because anything can be dissolved in acid also. Types of solution. Solutions can be classified as gaseous, liquid, or solid. For example, we have these type of solutions. Mothballs evaporating, oxygen in water, bronze, and the solute for mothballs evaporating is mothball or mothballs. The solvent is the air and the type is gaseous or gas. Oxygen in water. The solute is oxygen, the solvent is water, and the type is liquid. And the third one is bronze. Solute is the tin and solvent is the copper type solid. So those are the three types of solution. Can be solid, liquid, or gas. And also in types of solution, another basis for classifying solutions is the amount of solute dissolved in the given solvent. Number one, we have supersaturated. Number two, we have saturated. And number three, we have unsaturated. Supersaturated is when the solute cannot dissolve anymore. Saturated means if the maximum amount of solute is dissolved in a given solvent. While unsaturated, a small amount of solute dissolved in a given solvent. Those are the differences among the three. And next, we have concentration of solution. In concentration of solution, we have two types. We have dilute and concentrated. In dilute solution, a small amount of solute dissolves in a given solvent. Or in Tagalog, when we make our coffee drink or our powder drink, you can say that it's matabang. Okay, it's, I, it's like walang lasa, something like that. And concentrated, meaning greater amount of solute dissolved in a given solvent. Ito naman in Tagalog, we can say as matapang. So when you make your own coffee or make your own powder juice drink, something like that, uh, when you pour large amount of solute, and then when you put a little amount of water, and that will be concentrated, you can say, oh, antapang, something like that. And then, we have percent by mass. To get percent by mass, all you have to do is to use division. Okay, so we have sample problem number one. What is the percent by mass of sugar solution prepared by dissolving 12 grams of sucrose table sugar in 72 grams of solution? Okay, the given are Mass of solute, 12 grams. Mass of solution, 72 grams. Formula for percent by mass is percent by mass is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. And let us all substitute the given to the formula. So 12 grams divided by 72 grams times 100 is equal to 17%. So, 17% is the answer. Okay? Now, we have percent by volume. They are the same with the formula in percent by mass. So, sample problem number 2. Suppose we mix 50 ml of alcohol with enough water to make 400 ml of solution. Find the percentage by volume of the solution. Given volume of solute, 50 ml, volume of solution, 400 ml, Formula, volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100. See, they are the same. So, the so solution, again, we substitute the given to the formula 50 ml divided by 400 ml times 100 is equal to 13%. So, that will be the percent by volume. Reminder, to get the mass or volume of the solvent, these are the formula. Number one, mass of solution minus mass of solute is equal to mass of solvent. 
volume of solution minus volume of solute is equal to volume of solvent. Solution can be classified as solid, liquid, or gas in terms of the kind of servable phase. So now, we are going to tackle about the factors that affect the solubility. In dissolving the solute, we can do it by number one, stirring. So when you stir your solution, it depends on how strong or how mild you stir your water and your powder drink or your solvent and your solute. So that's one factor. And also temperature. When you are in a hotter place, Meaning to say, it can dissolve faster than the colder place. Then we have the size of particles. For an instance, you have rock salt and you have iodized salt. Rock salt is bigger than iodized salt. So most likely to say that iodized salt can dissolve faster than the rock salt. And then the nature of solute. So those are the different factors that affect the solubility of the solutes. Okay, so for your quiz number 6, you can try answer this one with true or false or click the link below to answer your questions for quiz number 6. Okay, do not forget to answer your quiz on the link below. So for your activity, get your laboratory manual and answer pages 17 to 18. Thank you very much. This is Teacher Da, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo, and see you again till next time. Bye-bye, Teacher Da signing off. Hello there again, class, and today we will tackle about the separation of solution. At this point, I will show you the setup for distillation and what are the different laboratory apparatuses that you need to set up for you to have a simple distillation. So as you can see, you should have a thermometer, a distillation flask, a clamp, Bunsen burner, clamp stand, and you should have the Liebig condenser, and you should have the receiving flask. And here are some of the materials that you need for you to have and to perform the distillation processes. You should have your salt water, the clamps, and the tubes so you need to put up all those laboratory apparatuses and to set up this kind of setup for distillation processes to separate solutions thank you so much and this is about distillation so to separate solution is only by distillation so in distillation we can separate solvent from a solution Number two, we can separate solutions of two liquids based on their different boiling points. For example, we have water and oil, or alcohol and oil, or water and acetone, okay? So in distillation, a solution is heated so that its solvent boils and escapes as vapor. The vapor is then cooled and condensed into a liquid called distillate so you can see it there in the picture the distillate meaning to say it's very pure water okay so that is when the time the solution is being separated and the solute remains at the round bottom flask thank you so much for listening that is all about preparation and separation of solutions do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you are updated to my edusci vlogs thank you guys teacher da is signing off bye